Coming up, I will discuss these five simple yet powerful tips that will help you hit the ground running in your new job. Let's get started. If you're new here, my name is Matthew Royce. I am a knowledge enthusiast. How do you hit the ground running during your first three months on the job? How do you best show your value at a new job? How do you develop relationships that will make you shine? If you have started a new job, you may wonder how to ensure that you start a new job on the right foot. You may wonder how you can get more visibility and how you can ensure you have a smooth onboarding experience. Luckily, some simple yet powerful tips can help you hit the ground running in your new job. Job. Let's examine five critical things you must do during your first 90 days at a new job. Number one, define what success looks like to you. Success isn't just about what you accomplish in your life. It's about what you inspire others to do. You must define what success looks like in your new role. What outcomes will you deliver in your first three months, six months, and first year? Get input from your boss and your colleagues. It would help if you determine what success means to you because the definition of success varies from person to person. Success is personal. When you understand how you look at success and how others look at success, you can make up your own definition of success. All that matters is your definition of success. If you are happy and fulfilled, then you have found success. Here's a key takeaway. What is success? What does it mean to you? And how do you define it? Whatever your definition of success is, it's usually about obtaining a positive outcome. The Oxford Dictionary says says success is the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. Number two, build your personal brand. Your brand is what people say about you when you're not in the room, said Jeff Bezos founder of Amazon. A personal brand is your combination of experience, skills, and personality. In other words, it's how you promote yourself, tell your personal story, and act. It's about your values, beliefs, and attitudes. Pick out three things you want others to know about you. Make sure you include those three items in every conversation. This will help others see what you are all about and the value you bring to them, the team, and the organization. Whether you like it or not, and whether you realize it or not, you have a personal brand. It's the brand called you. Your reputation always precedes yourself, so make sure that reputation is one where others want to get to know you. What's the key takeaway? Be proactive about building your personal brand. Understand what people are saying about you and work hard to ensure you make a positive and powerful impact. Number three, develop strong relationships at all levels. Your first 90 days are critical to cultivating new relationships at all levels of the organization. You must get to know people that are more senior than you, on the same level as you, and those at a level below you. You must show that you you are the right person for the job and get to know the people you'll be working with every day. Your first three months will set the foundation for balancing relationships and results. Schedule a 30-minute one-on-one meetings with critical people you must meet. Introduce yourself. This can go a long way to your success. You must show your curiosity and a desire to help others succeed. People will appreciate your proactive approach and authenticity. What's the key takeaway? It would help if you formed solid and meaningful relationships with colleagues to succeed in any job. Find out their preferred communication method and how they like to give and receive feedback. Number four, find out the unwritten rules. Every culture has unwritten rules. You must understand them so you can get things done. Every company has a way of getting things done that is not in the employee handbook. These unwritten rules help you gain insights into the company culture and the dynamic of different groups. You may hit a lion mind if you don't know how decisions get made and things get done. Discover the formal and informal leaders of different departments. Get to know the organizational chart, but remember, traditional job titles don't paint the entire picture. What's the key takeaway? It would help if you found out the unspoken rules and what rules will impact the success of your role and team. Number five, set expectations. Blessed is he who expects nothing, for he shall never be disappointed, said Alexander Pope, an English author. It's essential you set the tone for what others expect from you and what you expect from others. You must set expectations out how often communication should happen, in what forums, 
and how feedback should happen. You, your boss, and your colleagues benefit when expectations are set correctly because we all have expectations. When those expectations are not met, they lead to frustrations and misunderstandings. When expectations are not met, we tend to act emotionally. To become more emotionally intelligent in your new job, you must identify you and your colleagues' expectations. You must clearly communicate what your expectations are and determine what your colleagues and boss expectations are. Make sure you clarify if there's a misunderstanding. What's the key takeaway? To succeed in any new role, you must clearly understand expectations. Don't expect you'll be heard in the way you want. Don't assume you'll know what your colleagues want. Okay, let's bring it all together. First, if you like what you saw here, please hit the subscribe button below. I still get the jitters every time I start a new job. I love it. It makes you feel alive, said Camille Gotti, an American film and television actress. You must do five critical things during your your first three months at a new job. Define what success looks like. Build your personal brand. Develop strong relationships. Find out the unwritten rules and set expectations. Your first 90 days are crucial to your success at a new job. If you follow these tips, you'll hit the ground running in a new role. Thank you for watching. Until next time.